But let's step back from that for a moment and look at what would the impact <coughs> of these kinds of policies be for the African countries in particular that I'll mainly focus on. Well, the first impact is, is, a, is a trade impact. There'll be a trade displacement effect. So, for example, one study noted that uh, consumers, let's say, take a look, they looked at Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya and estimated that consumers in Tanzania and Uganda would probably benefit from cheaper EU imports, but Kenyan producers in particular would lose out because they were the, previously the people who used to supply those goods to the Tanzanian and Ugandan markets. All three of those countries, and this is a hugely important issue, all three of those countries, T Tanzania, Kenya and Uganda, I mean, there'd be winners and losers on the trade side. Some consumers would gain, some producers would lose out, but all of them would lose when it comes to tariff revenue. I think it's, again, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense. I mean, I, it might not be immediately obvious from, say, an Irish point of view, but for very poor countries, tariff revenue, trade barrier revenue is hugely important. It's one of the few sources of revenue that poor country governments can get their hands on and collect with relative ease. They don't tend to have very diversified income or sales tax bases. So all of those countries will be affected by a loss of tariff revenue. If you're dismantling your trade barriers, you're not just exposing yourself to competition, you're also losing revenue. Uh, in the case of Tan Tanzania and Uganda, they estimate that over half of current uh, tariff revenue will be lost and the opportunities to diversify the tax base are limited, so you would have a very substantial hit to government spending. So even the countries that might gain from cheaper imports would lose through lost government revenue. Uh, that could be even worse than some of the West African cases, in the case of Cape Verde and the Gambia, for example, it's estimated that 20% of total government revenue could disappear. Uh, it's gonna be probably between about five and 10% for West Africa as a whole. Those are pretty big numbers for already poor countries, and it's going to have potential implications for provision of education, healthcare expenditure, etc. In an ideal world, one might argue, well, the European Union will, of course, stump up the aid that will compensate for that, but it's hard to predict in this area. I can pretty safely predict that ain't going to happen, at least not on a long-term sustainable basis.